What's going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quitty Bags and today my dudes I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about the new powdered snow block in Minecraft 1.17 Caves and Cliffs part one now let's get right into this video before we do don't forget to hit that sub button if you want to become one of the dudes only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed and i appreciate everyone that smashes that sub button we're on the road to 50,000 subs also don't forget to leave a big thumbs up for quinny if you guys enjoy this video because let's try to go for a 500 like goal let's go big boy or go home all right so let's get started and let's see all about this new powdered snow block that you might not know much about all right let's get started all right starting off with powdered snow so powdered snow is a little bit different from regular snow as you can see here on the left we have powdered snow as you can see here on the right we now have a snow block they two are they're basically totally different blocks with the textures but kind of the same in our own little way so we hop up on top one block we can stand on the regular snow block powdered snow actually works as a trap block so if we walk over top we will sink in it now, if you stand in it for a various amount of time, we will start to take a half a heart damage once we are uh, on survival, of course. As you can see, my hearts are blue now, and we will start to take half a heart of damage every two seconds. Now, this is really bad because it's a trap block and it's dangerous, and we don't want to freeze to death. So we'll get into this a little bit more in a few minutes, but basically, that is what powdered snow does. Now, you might be wondering, what else does powdered snow do? Well, powdered snow can be used for various things, and it can be picked up with a one item, all right? So you can only pick up powdered snow using a bucket. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a bucket here, and let's prove this. Boom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is the wrong block. Here we go. Boom. You can actually pick up powdered snow. Now, powdered snow can only be picked up using a bucket and cannot be picked up using silk touch or anything else like a shovel or anything like that, or it will just break. So don't try to use silk touch and uh, don't try to pick it up with your hands or anything or else this will happen and it'll just disappear. What happened? <laughs> so anyways, moving on, that is how to obtain powdered snow. Um, you might be wondering now, well, if we could obtain it using a bucket, where can we actually find it? Because it's different from regular snow blocks. It's not like this snow either. Um, so there is only one way currently in 1.17 part one, how to obtain this and that is cauldrons. As you can see behind me, these cauldrons I placed here, it is snowing slowly and eventually these cauldrons will start to fill up. Once they fill all the way up, they will look like this. It will be a powdered snow filled, well, cauldron filled, with powdered snow. I think I said that right, yep. And then uh, once it's actually filled up, you can go ahead and grab this. Now, if you want to make a powdered snow farm, go ahead and place some cauldrons up in a mountain or in a snowy biome, wherever it physically actually snows. Don't place it in the rain. Don't place it you know, in the middle of the water where it doesn't snow. Make sure to place it in a snowy biome or place it up in the mountains. Now, in 1.18, we will eventually be able to find powdered snow naturally generated in the mountains. And those two biomes are called, let me find them here, they're called the Mountain Groves and the Snowy Slopes. So you'll actually be able to find powdered snow blocks, this block here, in the Snowy Slopes and the Mountain Groves in the future for 1.18. But currently, right now, you cannot do that and you can only collect up powdered snow using a cauldron. It gives cauldrons good uses because I don't really use cauldrons and now we will. So we've got a lot of uses for cauldrons now. All right, so let's go back into the trap block scenario here. So we are talking about how powdered snow works as a trap block. So basically you walk into it and uh, basically you will start to take the freezing effect and then you will start to take half a heart damage. Now you might be wondering, well, can I resist this? Is there any way to survive this, Quiddy? Because I'm cold. And as you can see, when mobs take this uh, freezing effect, they start to shake very crazily. So there is a way to resist it. And let me pop on this and I will show you. Uh, you can go ahead, put all leather armor on. And now when you walk in here, you're going to be okay. So it's kind of like a snowsuit. Leather armor finally has a purpose. And so if your friends try to trap you in a, uh, you know, a powdered snow trap, just make sure you bring some leather armor or at least bring some leather booties. Now I'm going to show you guys. So without leather boots on, you cannot walk on powdered snow. You get stuck. Oh, I'm on creative. Sorry. But yeah, basically you go try to jump on it. Oh, and I sink. And you can sit here trying to jump out of it, but it won't do anything. So what you could do, you throw on the leather boots, you hop up oh, and you could walk on top. 
Now, walking on top of powdered snow is very epic because it makes you a god. You are now walking. You basically have snowshoes on. That's what these should call your leather boots. Please nickname your shoes leather your leather boots snowshoes okay um now once you do that you actually get an advancement i already got it today because i was testing it um walk on powdered snow without sinking in it light as a rabbit so you are now light as a rabbit using these booties all right so that is how to use leather armor with the powdered snow trap block make sure to have all your armor on to resist it and uh, make sure to have the boots on to walk on top so uh yeah when those mountains come out It'll be quite adventurous, and you'll be able to put on your other boots and adventure and not sink into the snow and die. Now, some mobs that actually can resist freezing, and these mobs are kind of obvious. Um, we have snow golems can resist freezing. Strays, which are the skeletons, um, basically the winter skeletons. Uh, polar bears and withers are immune to freezing damage. Now, it also says here... Uh, fire mobs, like fire-related mobs, like striders, magma cubes, and blazes, take five half hearts from freezing oh my god so blazes if they go in here let's let's try this out if blazes go in here they'll start to take a lot of damage let's see i love i like killing blazes i don't like blazes all right so let's make a little trap for this blaze and trap him in here and see how this works this is gonna be epic <laughs> all right let's put him in here all right we're gonna cover him in snow so <laughs> he's cooking in there oh He's taking damage. Hello? Oh, he's trying to get out. No, 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 no. Here, let's trap him. Trap him. Trap him. Trap him, my dudes. Just trap him in. He can't get out if I keep building around him. Yeah, that's right. Hey, we killed him. <laughs> that was that was very epic. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, they take a lot of damage. That only, I think he only took like, basically like three hits, right? I'm not sure how much health blazes have but there you go fire mobs die very fast in this powdered snow and take a wicked freezing effect but any other mobs basically take a freezing effect now horses this is something different here horses have leather armor right and you, you never thought there was any use to this here but uh let's let's spawn a horse in and uh what the heck was that that snowman just killed the creeper um let's spawn a horse in and i'm gonna show you guys that they can actually resist the freezing effect with the leather armor on. All right, so I just tamed this horse and we're gonna put the leather armor on the horse. Oh, I guess I need a saddle as well. All right, put the saddle on and let's go in here. And as you can see, I can ride my horse into it and both of us are protected from freezing damage, which is pretty epic. So if you're adventuring through the mountains, bring your horse, cause that's gonna be epic. Look at that, that is so cool. And can we walk on top? Oh, they can't walk on top. Oh, that's that's not cool. Oh, that's too bad. I was really hoping for that. Oh man, they can't walk on top. Okay, don't take your horses in the mountains. I I, I apologize. Take don't take them. Leave your horses at home, gamers. Leave them at home. All right, all my MLG gamers out there, get ready for this one. So the powdered snow bucket block, sorry, the powdered snow block can be used as a clutch block. Yes, I'm not kidding. So no more water bucket gamers. We can actually use a powdered snow block and you can use it in the nether. Isn't that insane? All right, so let's try this out right here. There you go. That's kind of cool. You can jump off of stuff now with the powdered snow block look at this oh that is epic check that out dudes that is so epic i can't believe that that is so cool this is now the new mlg water bucket method all right my dudes if you dudes enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a big thumbs up that is everything you need to know about powdered snow how to collect it don't hit it with your fist or else you'll break it ride your horse through the powdered snow but don't try to climb on top of it or else you guys will probably sink and uh yeah that's basically it collect it with a bucket mlg from like max world height prove it send me a discord video of it i'm just kidding well if you actually do it it's not a video but uh thank you so much for watching leave a big thumbs up i appreciate you guys being here and also if you're new to the channel don't forget to smash sub because only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed i appreciate it check out the hardcore live series and uh we're on the road to 50k i'll see you dudes in the next minecraft video peace out my dudes have an epic day